Amidst the lush mountains and winding trails, the four of us embarked on an adventure into the great outdoors. Laughter echoed as we stumbled upon locked gates, thwarting our planned destination. What happened? It was close. Undeterred, we embraced the unexpected, wandering off the beaten path to discover a hidden haven. Beneath a canvas of stars, we pitched our tents, surrounded by the untouched beauty of nature. Locked gates couldn't confide our spirits. They merely redirected us towards an unplanned and unforgettable campsite, etching memories of camaraderie against the backdrop of the wild. What's going on you guys and welcome back to another video. So today I am up in the Cahia mountain wilderness. We're gonna explore dirt road back there. It should get us up into about 4,500 feet of elevation. Guys that are here, you've, you've seen them all in previous videos. So we have them all together today. It should be pretty fun. We'll see you guys on the trail. Beautiful out here. Can you guys see a structure at the very top to our left? Is it the fire lookout? I'm not sure. There's a lot of just the trees are kind of covering it, but it looks like a structure to me. Maybe it's Bigfoot's house. The Cahia Mountain Wilderness is a federally designated wilderness area located in Riverside County in Southern California. The 5,575 acres of wilderness is managed by the United States Forest Service in the San Bernardino National Forest. The summit of the Cahia Mountain sits at 5,604 feet and provides an excellent view of the nearby Juan Batista de Anza National Historic Trail. Local wildlife include mountain lion, mountain, and California quail, and the rare red diamond rattlesnake. What happened? It was closed. Yeah, the road is closed. We're gonna have to find a. We're gonna have to find a, another place another to place. camp. To camp. It was a bummer we couldn't make it to our destination of the fire lookout tower, but this trail, rated at intermediate, did provide some fun washouts to drive down. I saw Google. Google showing another way. It already updated me too. So we think we found an alternate route, man. Oh, oh, getting tired. Oh no. <laughs> the baby's getting tired. Let's find another way to the fire lookout. Let's go. When we came around this corner, we were amazed with how green everything was. It looked like we were driving through a tropical climate. Daniel's two-year-old boy ready for his afternoon nap, we needed to find a place to camp as soon as possible.
right, you guys. So we uh, we weren't able to make it to the fire lookout because we went around the backside. There was another locked gate. We went up. There was another locked gate. So we backtracked to this spot here that we checked out, and it's pretty cool. It's a bunch of really beautiful trees, and it's really relaxing. So we're gonna get some food ready. We uh, just situated all the rigs here, and it should be a really nice, relaxing evening. It's nice to do a trip where there's not a lot of driving. Yodiverse recently sent me out their V2 Pro grill for the Tacoma, and I'm absolutely loving how much this grill has updated the front end of my truck. They have the option for the grill to arrive with a garnish, so your radar sensing cruise control will still work exactly the same. The one thing I really love about the grill is that you also have the option to run their Anytime camera mounting piece. I've installed the Anytime camera, which I purchased from Running for Tacos, and this new Anytime camera front view should help out when I'm on rocky trails or when I'm on steep hills and can't see over the hood. I put a link in the description to the Yodaverse website. Go check them out. They sell all kinds of cool mods for your Toyota. Can I be on video? Huh? Can I be on video? You are on video. Oh, wait. Hello. It's recorded. <laughs> Big jump. Nice. <laughs> Fist bump. It's the new Vever, dude. If you're trying to camp during winter months, you really need a reliable source of heat. Although I did recently have an issue with my Vever heater, Vever sent me this new heater and I'll be testing it out for the first time this trip. I was stoked this heater had Bluetooth capabilities so I can control the heater with my phone from inside the camper. This heater has eight kilowatts of power, runs on diesel fuel, and is extremely easy to assemble. I recommend running your heater off 12 volt power because it'll draw less watts, which will let you run the heater longer while drawing less power. I put links in the description if you're interested in getting your own diesel heater. Just setting up my chair right here so I can eat some fruit. Cheers. Ooh, you brought the fire pit, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I recommended Dwayne try the uh, Sprouts Instant Coffee. Don't, don't mind the Starbucks cup. It's actually really good. You hooked me up. The ramen is the bomb. It's good stuff, right? It is way good stuff. So, Johnny Taco Special right here. Yeah. Yeah, that. What? I could use. Leo, fire bad. Yeah, don't touch. Fire hurt people. But get very. You can get close, but do not touch. It's All right, so uh, Daniel and I have been trying to troubleshoot his diesel heater. We took off the fuel filter. It looked like it was pumping fuel from the filter to the uh, the heater, but not from the fuel tank to the fuel pump. It looks like it's running now, which is good because Daniel doesn't have a heater. He already said he's gonna take off because he's got his two-year-old boy. How long has it been since you and I went camping? When would we go back uh, on... Lake Arrowhead, right? Yeah, back there. That was like a year and a half No, ago. it wasn't a year and a half It was ago. a year no, ago. No, it wasn't. It was a year ago, dang it. Post the video right here. Post that would be crazy if it was that long ago. It was that long ago. After checking the date the video posted, I realized it had only been eight months since Daniel and I had camped, and Daniel was correct.
best feelings when camping is when the drive is over, your bed is set up for the night, and you have some good food cooking. All we had left to do was to cut some firewood to keep us warm for the night. Where's your dad? Let's go say hi to him. Good. Take a bite of the marshmallow. Is it good? Wait. What are the clouds telling you? I think it's gonna rain. It's gonna rain? I feel it. It's gonna rain. We had a beautiful sunset, and although we had lots of clouds, we never got any rain, which we weren't complaining about. There's something peaceful about hanging out under a thick cloud layer. The mountain air is crisp and you can feel it in your chest. This evening, we found solace in the simplicity of good company and the majesty of nature. It felt like time stood still as we gathered around the fire and maybe that's just because it was already dark, but it still wasn't too late. This is your guys' first camping trip ever. Yes. This big guy right here. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? Wow, wow. That's a lot of firsts for camping trips. First yeah. s'more. He's never had s'mores before, so today he had his first s'more. Uh, honestly, nothing special. It's like a beef, beef burrito. Uh, it's just frozen. I just put it over some like instant rice, and we're going to see how it tastes as a stew. What are you doing, Dwayne? I am trying to download footage, and it ain't working. All right, you guys, we are cooking my favorite ramen. Here it is. Ooh, looks yeah, pretty dang cute, delicious, doesn't it? Yeah. Just warming up the tent? I don't know, I'm just running it. Running it. Well, uh, is it too hot? I think it does. Did you guess, is it yummy? It's get a cup. <laughs> it was just a messy one. What's that song? Every step you take? Every, Every step. Wait, is that the one you're talking about? Every mess you make? Oh, dear God. What's happening here, Dwayne? I'm, I'm having a problem. I see that. This is not going the way I anticipated. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Mm. Hey, Dwayne, you got a little... I got a little stuff on me. <laughs> Don't put this on me. <laughs> Dude, this is the best shot of the entire day, bro. Yeah, it was very shot, entertaining for us. That shot is going on the video. Alright, so it's been a long time since I've had coffee. Today we're doing Little sprouts, instant coffee. Should be pretty tasty. Oh yeah. Smells so good. Well, good morning to you guys. Well, I'm gonna enjoy this coffee and then uh, see you guys in a little bit.
right, so everybody's waking up here. I'm gonna enjoy some bagels. Or some ice cold avocados. I hear zippers. We hear zippers. That means the rooftop tent people are waking up. You got water in there? Yeah, they're getting a little bit of water in here. Not too bad. Oh, that's right, the buddy here, right? Did you sleep okay? Yeah. In the quiet embrace of nature, as dawn paints the sky, waking up outdoors is a communion with the spirit. The rustle of the leaves and the melody of bird song becomes a sacred text whispered by the wind. Camping in majestic landscapes is a healing balm for the mind, body, and soul. The earth beneath invites a grounded connection. The crisp air invigorates weary lungs, and a starlit sky offers celestial perspective. In these moments, amidst the grandeur of nature, one finds solace, renewal, and profound understanding. Good? Thumbs Sleep, up, buddy. Thumbs up for good. Or not good. He's waking up. He's spaced out, bro. He's not waking up. He's Spicy Southwest skillet. Delicious. Whoa! 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 He's like, why are you scaring me like that? I walked up from over there. He thought I was someone else. Yes, it's just me. It's just me, little buddy. It's fun, bro. Yeah, man. Good seeing you. Go subscribe to his channel. <clears throat> yeah, I need uh, my subscriber count slowed down recently because <laughs> I haven't posted any videos, but we're gonna get going again. Just don't have a third baby and you'll be good. Oh, dude, yeah, for sure. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed another video. This is a really good spot, really beautiful area right here. I loved the trees behind us and uh, no people, not a busy trail. We saw a few dirt bikers yesterday, but that was about it. But um, this is gonna wrap up the video. Happy Sunday. Hope you guys have a great week. And I'll see you guys next Sunday. Later.